Oh, I'm just so excited. I wasn't even expecting this till tomorrow. Today, we are doing an impromptu video, the Fitbit Sense unboxing first impressions. If you have been around my channel for a while, you probably know that I absolutely love Fitbit. I've had every Fitbit on the market since the very beginning. Currently, <laughs> I am wearing a Fitbit Versa 2 on my left and I am still reviewing the Whoop band on my right. I just changed out the band because I heard that the original black band is itchier than the newer summer bands that they came out with. I I don't think by a landslide, but just by a little bit. So anyways, I pre-ordered the Fitbit Sense and I wanted to kind of give you guys a little bit of a rundown, like what's new with it, what's the dealio, what did they come out with and all that fun stuff. So without further ado, let's jump in. The first thing, let's talk about the little box. The first thing is we're advertising now stress management technology. So I sat down at my desk today to film this because I wanted to have everything readily available at my fingertips to read to you guys. So the first thing that they are advertising and marketing for this Fitbit Sense is that it lessens your stress. So we now have an on-wrist EDA scan app detects, detects electrodermal activity which may indicate your body's response to stress. Uh, this is the first time that Fitbit has ever done something like this, so I think it's really cool. I cannot get this box open. Like, What is happening? I'm destroying this box right now. Second thing is that it now has a compatible ECG app, so it can detect AFib, and you can download this app alongside the Fitbit. You can export a PDF to your doctor. If I'm not mistaken, I think Apple Watch has that, so this is kind of something that I think Fitbit stepped up to compare to the Apple Watch. Let's go ahead and open the box together because I'm just so excited. The color that I got is soft gold stainless steel case and lunar white infinite Oh, infinity band. So you have your little band on the side here and the watch is in the middle. This uh, rubbery band seems to be, well, I have one from Amazon. I prefer the thinner bands. I'm wondering if you can attach the new sense bands, like an Amazon band to this. I'm not sure yet, I will let you know. This is what the watch looks like straight out of the box. Now I will say, okay, let me, I'm gonna take my, my Versa 2 off so you can see, okay. Oh, wow, okay, it makes sounds. All right, so about the same size screen-wise, this is a little bit more smooth around the edges. I think this definitely looks a tad more bougie, if you will, like it definitely has a nice sleek, less of a fitness watch look to it. Although I still think the Versa 2 is pretty, like I had the rose gold one on this frame and I liked it as well. So. Uh, I did not know that this made a sound. So this is another new update. The uh, Sense actually makes sounds. And this is what the back of the watch looks like, just so you know. So the things that they have added, let me show you in comparison to what it looks like on the Versa 2. What we've added to this watch now is also skin temperature. So those three things, the stress management, the ECG app, and skin temperature. Now this is also the first time that Fitbit has done a skin temperature and I'm very excited about this. So I'm really interested to see how this looks in the app, but it says from fever to ovulation, temperature tells a story about your body. Sense has an on wrist skin temperature sensor to track yours each night and show if it varies from your usual range so you can detect changes over time. So this just looks like another piece of information that it is going to give you and I am just really pumped about that. I think that is a cool thing. All right, so this is an interesting band here. I wasn't expecting it to be that way, but I don't know if I really love that. Can you see the way that you have to put this on? Hopefully this doesn't require a specific band, but I have a feeling that it will. And the only other thing that you get in the box, let's take a peek at what the charger looks like. Oh, it's different. We got a different charger. Look at that. I feel like such a Fitbit nerd right now. Like I, I love all the changes that they make to these things. So this is no longer like a rest in charger. You just hook this on to the back. Definitely modernized it quite a bit. Love that for Fitbit. Okay, so I am going to pop up a screen recording here so that you guys can see how the uh, app looks. My Versa 2 battery is actually dying, so this worked out perfectly. I already apparently have had uh, some updates done to the app and I didn't even know this. But what we're gonna do is go to my account here. I'm going to set up a device and we're switching. We're switching to the Sense, accepting the terms 
It came at 61%, so that's pretty cool. The vibrations feel a little bit different. You know how when you update your phone sometimes, the vibrations feel slightly different on Apple? Kind of the same thing with this. Another thing I'm noticing too about the Sense is the graphics are definitely a lot better than they were on uh, the Versa. Okay, so you can transfer music. I'm gonna pause this for a second so I can connect to my Wi-Fi. Okay, so while this is uh, connecting with the Wi-Fi, I also took a peek at what some other things that they've updated. And it says oxygen saturation monitoring. That's new. High and low heart rate notifications. That would have come in handy after my competition this weekend. <laughs> you can have more apps on your wrist. Built-in GPS. I know that's a huge thing for people who strayed away from the Fitbit before. Voice assistant. I am so pumped about the voice assistant. This is something that Fitbit has also never had before. And you can pay from your wrist. So well, I'm going to pause that just while we're doing the update because it does need to do an update. But it looks like with this watch, they've done a significant amount of updates dates, which I think was really necessary. Now, I don't know entirely what the Fitbit Versa 3 has in comparison to the Sense, but from what I understood, the Sense was a step up from the Versa 3, and plus, since I've already had two Versas, that's the reason why I personally decided to go with the Sense. Honestly, just looking at it, I really like the way that it looks on my wrist. I actually don't know if I'll get a thinner band. I got this guy off of Amazon and I'll have to take a peek to see if they have the Sense bands yet. They usually don't because this is a pre-order. So it usually takes a couple weeks until after the actual release date for them to get bands, but it is extremely comfortable. It's lightweight. That's my one thing that I've always felt about the Fitbits, even though there's so much going on here, it doesn't, to me anyway, feel very bulky. For what you get, I think it's very comfortable, breathable, and lightweight. So uh, by the way, this is not a sponsored video. I bought this with my own money and this is a completely unbiased review. Uh, well, mm, I don't know if I'd say unbiased. I do really love Fitbit, so I'm kind of I'm kind of partial to Fitbit, if you will. But uh, I was not paid for this video. This is my own 100% first impressions on the watch. So there's a lot of things on here um, as far as the specs go that they have added, as well as the built-in GPS, the speaker, the microphone, the gyroscope, the multi-purpose electrical sensors compatible with the ECG. Um, they say that the battery life is up to six days now, which is super awesome. Like people always like to compare the Apple Watch to the Fitbit and they want Fitbit to have a more Apple-like structure but Apple Watch can't get it together with their battery life. There's no way that I'm charging my watch every day. That would annoy me. I wanna wear it for a long time and not have to take it off. That's just me personally. So I think it's really awesome that they've upped the battery life to six days. That's phenomenal. Charging time is only 40 minutes. So that's pretty cool. If you wanna see more about the specs, they have so many of them listed on the website. And I don't even think actually that I mentioned the price. So the price, the price is a little hefty, I'm not gonna lie. The price is $329.95. So arguably the most expensive Fitbit that they have, and you don't need premium. So, you know, as we've talked about in the Whoop video, in order to get the Whoop, you have to have some type of membership. Whereas with the Fitbit, you don't necessarily need it. It's optional. So if you wanted to, you can upgrade to premium. I've had it on the Versa and I think it's only like, I don't know, $10 a month or something. So it's not huge, uh, but it does suck that you do have to upcharge if you want to get the premium features. Okay, that's everything that is in the box. All right, so it is almost done updating and that was actually a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be. The setup process has so far been pretty quick and seamless. It's just installing the new software on the Sense. So then we'll take a look at the actual features in the app once this is finished. Oh, okay, so let me, I'm gonna take it off. That's Let's just do it this way. New home screen looks like this. So this is just the one that it comes with, your steps. Uh, my sleep is not showing on there for some reason. And when you tap it, it's gonna show you your steps, your sleep score. Oh, oops. <laughs> That's definitely not correct yet, but that's probably because it hasn't been on. I'm just, oh, oh, okay. We got some swipe action. That looks like some settings. Okay, so you swipe left to go to your settings and right to start your activity. Oh, there's your EDA scan, your alarms, weather. That looks relatively the same. Oh, agenda, that's new. Find my phone, that's new too. Which way am I going? Okay, 
Coach, Alexa, Spotify, the Pay app, and that seems to be the end. Okay, so let's go into another screen recording. I'm gonna pop it up here so we can get some setup going on and you can see how it goes. Okay, we got your built-in microphone to power voice features. It includes Alexa. Oh, I don't really wanna set her up right now. We'll do that later. Uh, changing the band. Okay, so those bands are different than the Versa 2, so you will need a specific sense band for that. Okay, uh, that's how to put it on. Swiping down for notifications, as you saw. Oh, you can set a, a favorites now as a swipe up. I didn't know that. Swipe right, we already did that. And swipe left for the actives. Okay. Oh, I totally lied. There is a side button. Oh, when pressing, make sure. Okay. So I was wrong, I'm sorry, there is a side button, but the button doesn't look like a button. Can you see that button right there? It looks like an indent, but it's actually a, a button. Okay, but it's, it is an indent. Lord Jesus, okay. <laughs> this is a first time experience. You guys are experiencing this with me, so I apologize. The button is a like a tap, like the old home screen. Know what I mean? So it's actually not a push button. You have to hold it just enough to where you feel the vibration. So. You can press it once to go back to the clock face from anywhere on the watch, and you press and hold it for two seconds to access a shortcut, which I'm assuming you can set up in the watch, and then you can double tap it to get your four favorite apps. Okay, here we go. We're done with that. So, okay, so when I click on it, I'm gonna take a peek see at the watch faces. So these are the ones that it comes with currently, or the ones that you can have for the sense. The one that I had before was called Picture Your Stats, by the way, a lot of people always ask that and it really doesn't matter. Um, what do you mean unable to connect to sense? Basically everything seems to be pretty much the same. Your high heart rate and your low heart rate, that's something that's automatically set on. Your apps, these are the ones that you have currently. You can add some more. I personally don't use the apps a ton, to be honest with you, just because I mainly use my Fitbit for working out, for sleeping, and just the notifications. Um, but everything on the app itself pretty much looks the same except for the home screen. I am I'm very excited about this home screen. This is new, so these top four features here are different than what was there before. It typically just started at the four out of five exercise. So now we have stress management, so you log how you're feeling. So let's go ahead and see what this is all about. So your responsiveness looks at heart rate data and electrodermal activity, exertion balance. Okay, so this is kind of like the whoop in a little bit. I wanna say like it's copycatting, but um, we're, we're very stressed today, okay? Well, the wedding is in nine days. There's a lot of shit going on. We're gonna, we're gonna put very stressed. <laughs> Obviously, I don't have any other scores, but that, that's kind of interesting, and I'm assuming that it's gonna take some time. Yeah, okay, so your skin temperature and stuff like that, just like the whoop, it does take a few days for it to calculate a baseline for you. And then your health metrics and trends, we're gonna agree to this your breathing rate, okay. So in WHOOP, you have your respiratory rate, your heart rate variability, and WHOOP doesn't have skin temperature and your resting heart rate. So this is very interesting because the way that WHOOP calculates your strain and your recovery is based on your heart rate variability at night, your resting heart rate, and um, your respiratory rate. So this is pretty interesting that this is kind of what's going to contribute to this new stress management feature in Fitbit, which I think is absolutely amazing. So I'm just clicking on this watch face to see because this is the SpO2 signature, which tracks your blood oxygen saturation. So if you wanted to have that as like your watch face, you can do that. I mean, geez Louise, that's a lot. That's pretty cool. Now, this is another new feature I think is cute, the mindfulness. So you can do the EDA scan and it asks you how many times a week do you wanna do a session? Let's just, let's not get overzealous. Let's start with three. <laughs> and you can do little guided breathing sessions. So, you know, I think that's adorable. In my opinion, I think they put a lot of work into this update. I don't know if it's because Google bought it or what the deal is, but by far, this has to be my favorite Fitbit update. And when I did my video on the Fitbit Versa versus the Whoop, I think my biggest issue, if you will, is that Fitbit was still kind of falling behind in the accurate, like true fitness data, such as HRV and, you know, like Whoop has the respiratory rate and stuff like that. But 
this update really seems to have combined the both like you're getting the best of both worlds plus you're getting skin temperature which as a side note i also just ordered the aura ring which is supposed to be like the most accurate fitness thing that you can have because you wear it on your finger and it just tracks exactly that so like temperature hrv those types of things so i do find it really interesting that a lot of these newer fitness trackers are kind of like stepping up their game and they're including hrv they're including now respiratory rate blood oxygen saturation i mean we're really coming a long way from like the original fitbit what was it the charge hr or something so i think it's awesome great job to fitbit on this obviously it is a little pricey but in my opinion, you can't beat that battery life. And it looks just as nice, if not nicer, than the Apple Watch. So to each their own, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, I will keep you updated. Once I get my Aura ring and I can compare them both, I will absolutely do another updated video on this, kind of talking about what I've liked so far. Obviously, I can't say much about the like skin temperature and those types of data points simply because I just haven't been able to use them yet. So I will do another one, but let me know what your thoughts are. If you're getting a new Fitbit, if you have a different fitness tracker that you like, I'd love to hear it. So leave, uh, leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to click the thumbs up button and hit subscribe so you never miss a Monday or Thursday with manners that's all i got for you guys today i will see you in my next one